Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice exponential equation. Exponential equations are nice, but this one is actually very nice in my opinion. Anyways, let me know what you think. We have 5 to the power 3 to the power x equals 3 to the power 5 to the power x. And we are going to solve for x values. First of all, think about this. Can x be an integer? Can x be rational? That would probably give you some ideas, right? But let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and natural log both sides. You don't have to use natural logs. You can use any base. You can use base 5, base 3, even base 10, which is log. If you don't write the base, it's base 10, right? Hopefully. Wolfram Alpha thinks it's natural log. But anyways, that's a different school of thought. But I like to use natural log. And I like to write it as ln because ln, think about it, natural log, just backwards, right? Anyway, so let's go ahead and natural log both sides. Okay. What is good about logging both sides, any base, like again, the base doesn't matter, is you can go ahead and bring these down. Notice that those are variable exponents and you don't want to keep them up there, okay? Because it will be impossible to solve or maybe very hard. Now, if you go ahead and bring those to the front, you're going to get 3 to the power x multiplied by ln5. We have a power rule. Remember that if you have log a to the power n, that could be written as n times log a. So that's our property. And again, the base doesn't matter. And we do the same thing on the right hand side, bring the 5 to the power x to the front and multiply by ln3. Nice. We have a more flat expression, right? Not like a tower, but we still have exponents. That's okay. We'll be able to handle them really easily. Now, we do have different bases, so that's the thing. Can we log both sides? Absolutely. That would probably be my first approach. I guess you could call it the first method. If What happens if I ln both sides? Let's do it and see what happens. If I ln both sides one more time, which is fine, right? By the way, how, how do I justify doing something like this, right? Well, here's the thing. If you know that a is equal to b, then ln a is always going to be ln b. Why? Because ln function ln x or f of x equals ln x is a well-defined function. You can't get different outputs for a single input. That's what a function is, right? Okay or in other words, vertical line test. So after logging both sides, again, I use natural log because it's natural, right? We're gonna have a product. So what is the log of a product? It's the sum of two logs. So we can write this as ln three to the power x plus ln five equals ln five to the power x plus ln ln three. By the way, I forgot to write the double ln here. It's supposed to be ln of ln5, so that will be a double ln, okay? All right, cool. Now, what do you do with this? Hmm. I do need to solve for x, so I kind of need to put the variables together. Let's go ahead and subtract this from both sides and subtract this from both sides. So in other words, we can go ahead and bring the ln ln3 to the left-hand side like this and bring the ln3 to the x to the right hand side so that the variables are together and the constants are together. Make sense? So the next thing we're going to do is isolate x and solve for it. For that we need to use uh, properties of logs again but this automatically follows. You can go ahead and move the x, write this as x ln5 minus x ln3 is equal to this ln ln5 minus ln ln3. Nice. Now we can go ahead and factor out an x and then write this as ln5 minus ln3. By the way, I secretly put that on the left hand side because we are usually used to having that variable on the left hand side, right? If we're writing from left to right, of course, it could be the other way around too. And then since our goal is to solve for x, what should we do next? What do you think? Hmm, a million dollar question. Let's think about it. Divide both sides by ln5 minus ln3. So the answer would be then ln ln5 minus ln ln3 
divided by ln5 minus ln3. So what is ln ln5? So basically, you need to do the natural log of 5, whatever that number is. By the way, natural log of 5 basically means what number do we need to raise e to to get 5? So for example, if you take e, which is about 2.7, and square it, you're going to get 7.29, right? Something like that. So it's going to be too big. Obviously, ln5 is just going to be less than 2, greater than 1, because 5 is greater than e. So it's going to be in between, maybe 1.4, 1.5, who knows? If you don't exactly know what it is, a calculator can give you an approximate value, but as is, it's the most accurate form of ln5, which is ln5. Make sense? Now, obviously, a couple of different things can be done here. For example, we have the difference of two ln, so we can kind of turn it into a quotient, right? The, by the quotient rule, and that is ln a over b is ln a minus ln b. If you use that backwards, this is going to be your a, this is going to be your b. So you're going to get something like this, ln, ln 5 over ln 3, and then that is divided by ln 5 over 3. I don't know if this, this is a better way to express it, but you can definitely use something like that. You could even do something crazier, which uses a change of base, and you can kind of write this as log with base 5 thirds of ln 5 over ln 3, because that would be the exact same thing. If you use change of base formula, you're going to get the, the top expression. Make sense? Well, there's a couple different ways to express it. Uh, you can pick whatever you want. I just want to show you my second approach because it's slightly different and the second method definitely you deserve to know. And then please let me know what you think, which method you like better. I'd like to hear your thoughts and I really appreciate your comments. And some of you guys are very knowledgeable in math. I obviously know much more math than I do and you make in uh, interesting contributions. Some of the comments are just mind-blowing. Anyways, I can't... Uh, Thank you enough uh, about those comments. So what am I going to do? Same thing, natural log both sides, but we'll proceed a little differently. So let me show you real quick. Uh, we've done these already. Now, instead of uh, logging both sides at this point, I could probably go ahead and do something different, right? So that it qualifies as the second method. I want to bring these guys together. So why don't we just divide by 5 to the x and just leave it like this and divide by ln5. Make sense? Now, I was able to put the x's together in an exponential form, but that's perfectly fine. And guess what? This method is very similar to the first method, just maybe a slight variation. That's why I wanted to share with you still, because it kind of counts as a different method. And now, at this point, we're going to obviously log both sides. If you want a little bit of variation, you can use log base 10 instead of ln, just for variation, and then bring this x to the front, x log 3 over 5 is going to be log of ln 3 over ln 5. Again, we can leave it like that, don't expand it, and then just use division, and then you can kind of talk about how do these two answers compare, why are they the same. Of course, uh, there's a lot of nice properties uh, that play a role in this, but this brings us <laughs> to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. I think that's going to be in about an hour, maybe. Uh, I'll be publishing two videos today, and the other one is going to be a diophantine equation. Anyways, just quick uh, info. And until next time, bye-bye.